You guys, the custom client app is finally here and I am super excited to show you how to set up your custom client app in like two seconds flat. So I'm actually gonna scooch my little screen over here and then we're gonna go to the left navigation and we're gonna go to account and app setup. Okay, so you'll see a section now called custom, uh, customize your client app and you'll see that I've kind of preloaded some things, but to show you what, uh, what you can change, right? So you can change the name on your app, just simply, you know, type this in and you'll also notice, right, that as I type the preview for the client flash screen will update as well. And then it also updates over here. You can also change the logo. Uh, what would naturally come up or what automatically shows up is the quick coach logo. Uh, but you can change it to whatever you want. So, you know, I have my little pineapple and pizza thing there, right? And so that looks all nice and cute. Now keep in mind with the logo, it does need to be 512 pixels by 512 pixels. That nice little square shape, um, you know, it could be smaller, but as it gets fitted to 512 by 512, it could get blurry. Or if it's not the appropriate size, it could do weird things and look squished. Um, you know, so if your logo is not already that size, I would suggest going to somewhere like Canva, setting up a custom canvas that's 512 by 512, and then, uh, and then downloading it that way. So that way it looks perfect for you. Uh, and then you can also change your theme color. So this theme color is going to affect this bar and this right here. So let's change the color here. Stick with my pineapple theme. Let's find a nice little shade of green here. All right, and so again, you'll see that my text in this bar has been updated. I can also change my background color to whatever I wanted, right? So you'll see that there. But what I would suggest is just being mindful which colors you use, because you do want it to be easy on the eyes. Um, I find that for most people it's going to be white, but you can change it to whatever makes your heart happy. Um, so once you've set this up and again, super duper fast, right? Nothing crazy, uh, save and launch app. So you'll see that it has been saved. And then from here you could share your app. So if we click this, we have a generated, uh, post for you. So you can download this image and share it on your social media to hopefully get new clients and to celebrate. Cause this is awesome that you now have your very own custom client app. So you can choose to use ours or you can make one on your own, but we do have this for you in case you want it. Um, and then in order to get, get it to your client, uh, all your, all they have to do now is go to their page. So as soon as they uh, click, or click, click on the link that they receive, they will be prompted to download the app and I will show you what that looks like here in a second. Having your clients download your custom app is so ridiculously easy now. They don't have to go to the app store, type in the name, try to find it and which one it is amongst all the other apps hope they pick the right one and download it. All they have to do is go to the link that you gave them originally and put it in their the appropriate browser. And when they get to their client dashboard, they will see this prompt, tap here to install the app. They tap that, it gives them their instructions. Now I'm on an iPhone, so through Safari, I'm gonna tap that up arrow, I'm gonna scroll down and add to home screen. It will preload with your logo that you selected and your app name, and they're gonna click add. And now you can see I have the pineapples and pizza app now with my beautiful flash screen, the colors that I chose, and then here is the client app. Now, something to keep in mind is if your client is on an iPhone, but they're using a different browser, such as Chrome, what will happen if they click on their link or they go to their client dashboard? They are going to see a different prompt. So it's gonna tell them they need to install the app, but it will now say, if you use an iPhone, please reopen this link in Safari to download the app, right? So if they are on an iPhone, they do need to visit the link originally in Safari, and then they never need to touch Safari again. They'll just go to that per usual, but if they do open the link in Chrome, you will see, or they will see that message, and you'll just need to let them know 
um, if they don't understand that they'll need to make sure that they use Safari to download the app.